Doctor, we have a young married couple who'd like to talk to you now. They're Dr. James Leonard and his wife, Carolyn Joe. So, folks, you can please and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to your bachelor life. Say the secret word and take home an extra $100. Good evening. Good evening. Dr. Dr. James uh, Leonard and uh, Carolyn Joe Leonard. Huh? That's, That's correct. Right. How tall are you, Doctor? I'm 6'2", Groucho. 6'2", what? Six feet two inches. Oh, I thought you were giving the score of a ball game. Or something. <laughs> and Carol and Joe? Well, I'm five two, Groucho. You're a whole foot uh, shorter than the doc here. Huh? Yes. Seems to me you, you might have waited until she grew up. <laughs> I should have, probably. <laughs> I'll have them divorce in ten minutes. <laughs> doc, uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Danville, Virginia, Groucho. Is there really such a place as oh. Danville, Virginia? Oh, yes. It's about 150 miles from Richmond, right on the North Carolina border. Carolyn, where are you all from? Are you from uh, Virginia, too? Oh, no, sir. I'm from West Virginia. Well, do you like West Virginia better than Virginia, or...? Yes. Yeah. I do. And what about you? <laughs> no, there's no question. Virginia's better. Yeah. Now, whereabouts in West Virginia do you hail from? Or don't they have any down there? <laughs> Gas away. <laughs> well, I hope so. I say, but what is the main industry? <laughs> what is the main industry of gas away? Do they make bicarbonate soda there? <laughs> Carolyn, where'd you meet the old uh, doc? Uh, in gas away or Danville? Well, no, Groucho. I met him in the stacks at the Medical College of Virginia in Richmond. You met him in the stacks? Yes, you know, the library stacks. Oh. Well, had you met him before? No, I went there to meet him. Oh. Well, you had decided, uh, in other words, that you were going to capture him, is that it? That's right. Yeah. And you didn't disclose this uh, until after you uh, hooked him? Well, I didn't think it was necessary. <laughs> Don't you think you were a little forward, uh, Carolyn? I mean, wasn't this kind of brash for a girl from West Virginia? who was full of bicarbonate, setting a trap <laughs> for a huge fellow like that in the stacks? Well, Groucho, it might have been a little bit brash, but after all, I mean, I decided that I was going to get him. He was the most eligible man on campus. In what way? Just because he's large? No, he was uh, well, a straight-A student and was president of the student body and very athletic, so oh. I just decided he was my most eligible. Oh. Did you have straight A's, too? Heavens, no. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have time to get straight no, A's. I guess not. <laughs> what happened next? What crystallized this romance? Well, actually, while he was talking to me that evening, the first evening, there was an eyelash right there, so he leans over and picks it off, and then, you know, we did the old thing where we put our fingers together and made a wish. Well, the eyelash came off on his thumb, and he, that meant he got his wish. Uh -huh. So he leaned over and kissed me on the forehead. On the forehead you kissed her? No. Oh. No, I kissed her on the lips, Groucho. Oh. If I was a man and a girl and a man kissed me on the forehead, he'd get the lash all right. He'd get 40 lashes. I bet he now, now I want to ask you something. Did you plant that lash there deliberately? Is that one of the wiles that women use to hook uh, straight A students? It could be. Suppose she had a lash there now. Would you notice it now? Oh, I think so. It's a pretty odd spot for an eyelash. Yes, it's down quite low, I must say. <laughs> now, Jim, I haven't got your version of this romance. Uh, were you actually that easy to snare? Didn't you offer any resistance? Didn't you even try to fight back? Well, I tried, Groucho, but she had laid a pretty neat trap. Uh, matter of fact, she went so far as to propose to me, so there wasn't so much I could do. <laughs> Why don't you ashamed of yourself, huh? What does she say? At this moment, I am. <laughs> what does she say when she popped the question? Well, I don't think she just came right out and asked me to marry her. She just started making plans for the wedding, you see. <laughs> well, Doc, apparently you got your degree in spite of Caroline, huh? That's Is that the way you pronounce it, Caroline? That's correct. Or Caroline, huh? Oh, no, Caroline. Caroline? Please. What kind of doctoring do you do, Doc? Are you a horse doctor? No, I'm an intern. How doctor? <laughs> no, I'm an intern at Santa Monica Hospital, Groucho. You're an intern? Yes, uh huh. Uh, what do you do these there? What is uh, an intern? Well, I'm How one of... How does that differ from an outturn? <laughs> or a U-turn, huh? 
Rogers. I'm one of several rotating interns, Groucho. <laughs> He's, he thinks he's still in gas away, I guess. <laughs> what do you mean you're a rotating insane? You mean you go round and round like a chicken on a spit? Sometimes I do. Yeah. That's, what is a, a rotating intern? It just means that you, you rotate... on all comers? <laughs> That's it. You rotate through all the various services, uh -huh. Rachel. Obstetrics, pediatrics, surgery, all of them. What field do you intend to specialize in when you're on your own? Uh, I'm going to specialize in ear, nose, and throat. Gotcha. That's a very good feel. Would you mind taking a look at my glasses and <laughs> see if they're right for me? Well, I don't know anything about glasses, Gotcha. I'm going, I'm going into ear, nose, and throat. Well, if it weren't for my nose and ears, how could I keep my glasses on? <laughs> I'll play eight bars of the old jokes at home. Huh? <laughs> well, you're nice kids, youngsters, and I'm sure you can use some money. So let's play You Bet Your Life. Uh, George Fenneman, would you bring out the questions for this uh, couple from Gasaway? What category have they chosen? Uh, nicknames and sports, right? That's nicknames good. of sports? In you sports. Mean old sports, or like me, or young sports? I think just the, uh, uh, the, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, I'm aware of that, but I thought you'd have some kind of a logical answer. So, do you want to start? Let's take the 200 one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we have to go any further with this explanation about who's <laughs> ruling the roost. <laughs> For 200 bucks, who was known as the wild bull of the pampas? You can talk it over, you know. The Wild Bull of the Pampas, P-A-M-P-A-S. If you don't know, guess. Uh, Prima? I don't know. No. It was Louis Feipo oh. from Argentina. And you remember he knocked Dempsey out of the ring. And then Dempsey knocked him out of the ring. Another. You have... Another two. Another two. Another two? You have uh, three more questions. Uh, for $200, what baseball grape was known as the Iron Horse? Lou Gehrig. That's right. That's right. You, have, you had me worried. Yeah. You now have two hundred dollars and you had that dazed look in your eye. Yeah. And two chances to make it five. Well, another two. Who was for two hundred? Who was known as Gentleman Jim? Gentleman Jim. Jim Fitzsimmons. Oh. <laughs> How could you? It was Jim Corbett. In California, yeah. Well, you, uh, you've had three questions. You have one more question. You now have $200. You need five. You need We've five. got to take the three. That's what I was take saying. Take the three. <laughs> and may the Lord be with you. Uh, you can we use... hate it. <laughs> I'm sure you can. For $300, if you miss this, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Who is known as the Georgia Peach? Oh, gosh. Bobby Jones. Oh, hey. Ty Cobb. Oh, Get me a hatchet, will you? <laughs> we need it oh, right I'm, now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you didn't. Well, you, uh, you wound up with $200. I was rooting for you, kids. Oh, no, mm -hmm. that's perfectly Good all right. Luck, it was and... just our pleasure. Thanks for your attention. Karen Von Unger is waiting to talk to you. And her partner is the former heavyweight champion of the world, Mr. Rocky Marciano. Welcome to your bet your life. Say the secret word and you divide an extra $100. Uh, maybe, Groucho, I better explain here why Rocky is here tonight again. Take I think. a shout out of him. <laughs> Remember last week we had uh, Rocky's mother on, Lena. Yeah, she was pretty cute. She too. certainly was, and you she said... She was leaner than he is, too. <laughs> and you said a few disparaging things about Rocky. No, I did not. Nothing of the kind. A nice fellow like Rocky. Well, I'll leave you now. Oh, I know. I'm going with you. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I want you to meet uh, Rocky Marciano, the middleweight champion of the world. <laughs> Thank you.
mean heavy heavyweight. Doctor. Yes, well, he's a, really a heavyweight, but most of it is around the middle right now. <laughs> now, Karen von uh, Unger. Unger? Is that yes, you? Karen von Unger, Unger, right. Unger, Unger. Unger, Unger? <laughs> No, just Anger. Van Unger, huh? Right. What kind of a name is that, Karen? Is it's... that uh, Spanish? No, I'm Swedish. You're, you're a Svenska, huh? Yeah. Oh, I see. Where are you from in, in, uh, in Sweden? I'm from a small town called Vesteros. Vesteros? Isn't that what you take when you have a sore throat? <laughs> uh, are you married? No, I'm single. Oh, well, but I... But it's leap year, so I'm still hoping. Oh, well, who do you plan on leaping at, huh? <laughs> Have you got any, any good prospects lined up? Mm, no, nothing special. Well, that's extraordinary. Don't you think she's beautiful? Yes, she is. Yeah. <laughs> you can look at her again, you know. <laughs> now, on this show, we like to explore the little-known facts about people. For example, your real name isn't, isn't Rocky, is it? No, uh, Groucho, it's Francis. Francis, huh? <laughs> No wonder you had a fight when you were a young man. <laughs> no one ever called me at Francis. No, no, I wouldn't think so, eh? Well, what was your record as a pro? I, was, I mean, in the ring. I was kind of lucky, Groucho. I had 49 fights and won 49 times, 43 by knockouts. Well, you must have been pretty lucky, I mean. <laughs> Considering that you have a glass chin, that's a very good record, Rocky. By the way, I've often wondered, uh, does it hurt the victim to get knocked out, Rocky? No, I've been told that it doesn't hurt at all. In fact, it happens so quick and sudden-like that it's, it's like being in a room and someone just turning out the light. <laughs> Wait a minute, you said the secret word. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. You can either have her or the $50. What do you want? But we can... Oh. No, you get 50 too. No. Oh, Thank sure. You. He said the secret word, room. Thank you. Well, you know, whenever we have a specialist up here, we like to have them demonstrate to... I mean, when we have a singer, we have a sing a song, we have a dancer, we have them dance. When we have a comedian, we have them tell some jokes. Now, I'd never been to a prize fight. Uh, could you knock somebody out tonight? I mean... Uh... It's been four years. I mean, are uh, uh, you out of shape? Uh... No, not really. Wait, I'll get Fenneman, huh? <laughs> you know, this is a fight... <laughs> In 13 years that George hasn't answered when I called him back. <laughs> you say you had 49 fights. How many of these were frame-ups? <laughs> now, let me put it this way. I, that was wrong. I, forgive me for saying that. Were any of your fights on the level? <laughs> None? 49. 49, huh? Now, how many of these were for the title? Six. Six, huh? You must have cleaned up at the box office, I imagine. How much did you figure you made during your career? I think they estimated it pretty close to $3 million. And parents ask children to go, uh, go to high school and college. <laughs> how far did you go in school? Huh? Uh, second year of high. Second year in high. See, he didn't even graduate from high school. He made $3 million. You must have the fattest piggy bank in America, huh? I guess you don't know Al Wilde. No? No, Groucho. From what I've heard about him, I'm glad I don't. <laughs> no, uh, Groucho. You'd be around here collecting my salary. <laughs> Managers play an important part uh, in a boxer's yes, life. Yes, they do. They take all his money. And <laughs> because of that, they take 50% of the well, earnings. Well, that's not fair. You know, if you're an actor and an, you have an agent, they get 10% of your money. Nobody, no agent is allowed to take more than 10%. I found that out. And he took 50%, huh? With expenses off the top. His expenses? No, everybody's expenses. Why'd you kill him? Well, he took half. That still leaves a million and a half, and that isn't bad for 49 fights. Maybe you still got the million and a half. No, Groucho, you know Uncle. Uncle Sam is a pretty, pretty good partner, too. Yeah. He, like his, likes his cut too, you know. Yeah. I haven't forgotten Uncle Sam. I wish he'd forget me. Then. <laughs> Uncle Sam is the air wild of the uh, federal business. Huh? In your opinion, who's the greatest fighter of all time? 
I think Joe Lewis. Joe yeah. Lewis was the greatest. I really do. How about Dempsey and, and Jim Jeffries? Why do you say Lewis is the best? Well, I, I like to say Lewis was the greatest because uh, I was lucky enough to uh, beat Lewis, and so that makes me pretty good. <laughs> And I want to tell you one thing about this fellow. I think this is the only man that ever... No, Tony, I guess. You and Tony, the only two that ever retired undefeated. That's right. And he had many more fights than Tony had, and I think tougher ones with the possible exception of Dempsey. You, know? you didn't think I knew anything about fighting, did you? Now I know it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the witty fellow up here, you know. I may take a poke at you yet, you know. Now, what are your plans for the future? Are you, are you all through fighting? Or are you just going to stand there and make a fool out of me, huh? <laughs> no, Groucho, I've, um, I've had my fights. What I really would like to do is be the high commissioner of boxing. As it is today, a fight only has a short period to make big money. And in those big years, he's taxed sometimes 90% of his money. Yeah, and then there's Al Wild besides, <laughs> too. You know? It should be spread over a period, period of years. After the fight game, a fighter goes back to his neighborhood, into a new business, with the reputation of making a lot of money and actually not having any money at all. That's true. Boxers should have some sort of a pension, and I hope they make it. I hope they make you boxing commissioner. If anybody disagrees with you, I'll punch him in the nose for it. <laughs> now, Rocky, how do you feel about Ingemar Johansson? You think, look at, look at her smile here. Huh? The whole room is lighting up. I just can't You think get... he's a real world beater? Yes, I do, uh, Groucho. I think he's great. He showed a lot of great form in the last fight. Beat the two best American fighters we have within four rounds. That alone makes him a great fighter. You think you could lick him? Groucho, if I told you I could, you'd only call me a bragger. You'd probably say... I would not. I might call you a liar, but I wouldn't call you a liar. <laughs> No, but if I said that I couldn't beat him, then I'd be a liar. <laughs> Why don't you get a quiz show? Uh, you... now, Rocky, I've enjoyed meeting you. And Karen, if you'd like to go some extra rounds later on, just stick around after the show. <laughs> now, what category did they... Oh, he's gone home. Bring somebody <laughs> You yellow dog, you came back again, huh? As <laughs> soon as this is over, the game, yes. if Rocky doesn't win, he told me later, he's going to knock you out. <laughs> so, now, you know how to play this game? Yes, I do. Yeah. All right, well, put it out here so people see it. What category? Uh, world Geography, I believe. Right. Yeah. You pick the first one and come out fighting. Are you in for 200? Two hundred? Two hundred. you do. And, and a 200 thing, eeny, meeny, miny, moe? Mo. All yeah. right. I never know this fellow his name Mo. <laughs> In what country is the city of Hamelin of Pied Piper fame? You know where the Pied Piper, the story, the fable of the city of... Um. Uh, In what country is it? <laughs> Don't you, we've got to pass on that one. No, no, guess. Take, no. A guess. Take a uh, guess. Make a haymaker. Ha Hamelin, that's... Hamelin, H A Germany is all right, Germany. <laughs> and you have a boy. It's like taking stuff out of a toothpaste. You know, you got to keep squeezing it until it comes out. You have two hundred dollars and three more chances to make five um, altogether. What do you think, Rocky? Let's go for three. Three? Then you answer. <laughs> oh, there's a woman for you. You already have two hundred, and you have three more chances to make five. Always oh, um, passing the buck. Three hundred dollars. What is the highest mountain in the Alps? Um, now you can talk it over with Rocky, because he doesn't know. Uh, we know. What? Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc is You right. now have five hundred dollars. So you, uh, this is uh, on this us This is now. all velvet. Everything yeah. from here in is velvet. Give me one more just for the fun. You get two, two more. more just for the fun. Another three? But... See, you've already got the five, which allows you to come back to try for ten. This is crazy. And I don't get hurt. <laughs> you notice that's all he's thinking of. <laughs> For three hundred dollars, the Fiji Islands belong to what country? <laughs> oh, somebody like Jack Park. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's that the way? Mm. What is it? British. Well, England, yeah. 
you know how I knew that, Sagacho? Oh. There was a Fiji champion, and I remember he came over with the British flag a long time ago. Uh -huh. What was his name? I forget. <laughs> well, you now have $800. $800. And another uh, question coming to you. And he... Mm. Cooper's raising. Yeah. 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 You are so brave. <laughs> I can't understand a fellow who is um, a professional heavyweight champion being brave. <laughs> no, that. That one. You like brave men? I like any men. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a coward, just come over here. For $300, the North Sea and the Baltic Sea are connected by what important ship canal? Uh, the North Sea and the Baltic... And the Baltic Sea are connected by what important ship canal? Um, well, I... You can ask Rocky, you know. It's Gargarak. It's, it's, I know, you know, um... Scargarak? Anyhow, it's the Kiel Canal, K-I-E-L. Anyhow, you won $800 and yes. they won $100 in the... Secret word. Secret word, $900. And you come back later for a chance at $5,000. And Rocky, you were a fine champ and you still are. Goodbye, honey. I'll see you later. Here's the big question. Who's going to try for the big money? Karen Von Unger and Rocky Marciano earned $800, so... Come on in. And, uh... Take a spin for 10,000. Oh, well, you two look strangely <laughs> familiar to me. Pick a number for 10 grand, Rocky. Mm. Uh, nine. Nine. Put a nine up here. And Karen, pick one for five. Uh, There's only 10 numbers. Only 10? Yeah. Eight. Eight. Nine and eight. Now, one of you, uh, Karen. remember, if either of these numbers comes up, they're worth whatever is up here. Now, if any other number comes up, the question is worth $2,000, a total of two. Now, you spin the wheel. You lost on a decision. <laughs> Your numbers were eight, nine, and it came up uh, 10. So this question is worth a total of uh, 2,000. You ready? You can talk it over, you know. With the addition of two new states, the geography of our country has changed completely. So for $2,000, tell me what is now the northernmost town in the United States. <laughs> You only get one guess. Take well, a guess. Well, it must be in, Al in Alaska. Anchorage? No, it's... It, what is it, audience? No. Huh? There, right there. Point Barrow, that's right. I'm sorry, mister, but you wind up with how much? $800? Ah, oh, it's not too bad. Point Barrow. Sorry, mister, you wind up with $8,000. Congratulations. Oh, huh? I $800. Well, I'll give you the other $7,200 later. Huh? Thank you very and much. And nice seeing you, Rocky, and good luck, and whatever you go in.